Hello. In our next uh, video lecture here, we're going to be discussing the location change functionality within X3. Uh, the location change is one of the warehouse uh, management transactions for organizations that have their uh, warehousing site subdivided into different uh, warehouse locations. Many organizations will set up um, receiving locations, quality control locations, um, primary picking locations, and maybe a rack row bin structure in their general warehouse. So in this particular example that we're going to be looking at, I'm going to show you how the location change uh, transaction can be used to move inventory from a receiving location over to a quality control location. So to start this, let's go ahead up under our stock menu. Then under stock, we're going to go to the internal transactions, then to stock change transactions. In here, I'm going to choose the CHG stock change transaction entry transaction. We're going to come over and click on the new button. We'll specify our warehousing site. We'll specify the date that we want the transaction to be booked. If there is a project code or a transaction group that you wish to have associated with the transaction, you can do so. Now here in our selection section, um, what you can do here is you can specify a product and or location that you want to move the goods from. And based upon what you input into either one of these fields, that's going to serve to update the stock selection left list tray over here. So in this particular case, I don't want to filter it on a particular product, but rather I just want to tell the system, go ahead and pull up for me everything that's presently located in location um, REC01, which is our first receiving location. Then for my destination location, I'm going to specify my quality 01 location. So this is my um, initial quality control location. Okay, so at this point, I could come over here and select the items. I could go ahead and select them one by one to load them into the grid. Alternatively, I could click on this upper box right here, which would load them in. Then in addition to that, I have this stock picking uh, um, option that I could also use. So if I want to take everything out, I can click on the exclude all. If I want to load them all back in, I can do my include all. Okay. So in this particular case, I'm moving products BMS 012 and BMS 013 from their current location of REC01 into a location QUA01. We'll go ahead and click on the create button and that will serve to perform the move and it will go ahead and assign it a transaction number and if I wanted to print out a document um, for my record keeping purposes or to provide to the warehouse uh, to instruct them to move the goods I can go to the print icon then to uh, report there and in this menu here, I'm going to go ahead and do my print to a preview. And that'll go ahead and generate this crystal report stock change slip, which details my two products and the respective quantities that should be moved. Okay, so those are the, basis, the basics behind your location tra change transaction within X3. I hope this video was of help to you. If so, I'd ask you to please like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Thank you for your time.